Open your book to page 337. And let's go to number two. As you read, you need to uh, translate. And again, write down as you read. It says, if Y, so Y, very inversely means equal to K over something. Again, whatever is inversely goes on the bottom. Okay, so if Y very inversely as the square root of X. And it says Y, so this is Y1 equal to 4 and X1 equal to 9. And it's 1 because this is the first time you see it, right? It says find Y, so you're looking for Y2 when X2 equal to 4. So what you want to do is look for the K. So let's go and move, multiply this over. So you got Y square root of X equal to K. And you can substitute. You can substitute first and move. Okay, it doesn't matter. So K equal to 4 times square root of 9. So K equal to 4 times 3. So K equal to 12. Now, as soon as you find K, you need to update your equation. So you get y equal to 12 over square root of x. So this should update the equation. Again, as soon as you find k, update. Then you can, using this equation, to find whatever you're looking for. So you're looking for y when x equal to 4. So y equal to 12 over square root of 4. So y equal to 12 over 2. So y equal to 6. And that's it. Let's go to number 6. Number, number six, um, you have, um, it's a suppose Z very directly. So Z very directly. Whenever it's directly or jointly, it means goes on the top. It, would, it always goes on the top unless it says inversely. So when it says inversely, it goes on the bottom. So Z very directly as W square and inversely as U V. It says in Z, so Z1 equal to 6, when U1 equal to 3, V1 equal to 5, and W1 equal to 3. It says find W, so that's W2. I can get all your information. When Z2 is equal to 12, U2 equal to 5, and V2 equal to 6. So this is all the information you have. So again, you can substitute first, or you can you know, move variable first to solve for k. Um, usually it's easier, it's better to go and move things. So you're gonna get z u v over w squared equal to k. Right? You move this over, right? you multiply and divide. So you get that. So substitute, so you got six, uh, three, five, and I'm going to write it two times so I can cancel, right? W squared, right? So this cancel, this cancel. So K equal to 10. So as soon as you find K, again, you update your equation. So you got Z equal to 10 W squared over UV. So now you can use this formula to, to find the what you're looking for. So you got you know, 12 is equal to 10 times uh, W squared over 5, 6. Okay, so again, so to solve for that, let's go ahead and multiply by 5 and 6. Multiply by 5 and 6. So this cancel with that. And then to get rid of the 10, you divide by 10 on the bottom. So this will cancel out. So W squared will equal to, let's cancel this. So W squared equal to 36, so W equal to 6. Okay, let's go and do number one, the word problem. It says, according to Ohm's law, so this has to do with uh, either, either uh, Tracy, the current flows through the wire so the current is I, okay, they use I for current, or you can use C, that's fine. So current for in the Y is equal, inversely proportional to so K over 
to the resistance of the wire, so it's R. If the current is 5 amps, so I equal to 5 amps, when the resistance equal to 24 ohms. So this is simple, it's uh, Greek letter omega, so it stands for ohms, okay? And that's the unit uh, of measure for the resistance. It says for what resistance, so you're looking for R2, so what resistance will the current be 6 amps? Okay, so that's that's what you have. Okay, so again, you can move things around. So K equal to I times R. So K equal to 5 times 24. So K equal to 120. As soon as you find K, you, sub you substitute to update your equation. So I equal to 120 over R. So now to find R, you can substitute using the new equation. So 6 is equal to 120 over R. Cross multiply, 6R equal to 120. Divide by 6. So R equal to 20. And the unit will be omega. It's the upside down horseshoe. Okay, so make sure you remember your label. Okay, next let's go to page 370. Let's do number four. Okay, so you want to approximate the population of the 1964. So what you do is you have to get information from the table, and you have to get the one from before and the one after. <clears throat> so for 1960, the population is 179 million, and you and you're looking for 1964, that's, that's, that's what you're looking for, X. And you got 1970, <clears throat> it's 203. So now you're going to use the ratio. Okay? So, whatever you, so whatever you're looking for is what you write first. So you're looking for X, so that's what you're writing first. So X minus 179, so you use this pair. So you have to do the same on this side. So 1964 minus 1960. And then you have to get another another pair. Now, don't don't use the x again because you end up with more than one variable. It's very difficult to solve. So go and use this pair over here. So use two o three minus one seventy nine again. You can use any pair. Okay. And so two o three matches nineteen seventy, and one seventy nine matches nineteen sixty. Right? Again, as you can write ratio any way you want as long as you match it up correspondingly. Okay. And then so from here you can go and simplify. So you got four over ten equal to x minus one seventy nine over uh, twenty four. And then go ahead and multiply by twenty four to multiply by twenty four to cancel it out. So get your calculator. You work it out. So 24 times 4 divided by 10 equal to 9.6. So 9.6 equal to x minus 179. So plus 179 plus 179. So x equal to uh, 188.6 million. Now because um, the answers are in the in the in the whole number, so you can just run it off to 189. Uh, million. Now don't just put down 189. Okay, remember this is the millions, right? So make sure you you include the million. Don't just put down 189. That would be incorrect. So just be careful with that. <clears throat>